Okay, so we're ready to go now on starting our highlights videos with uh, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, Windows Movie Maker is a free program from Microsoft. It's not as powerful as other programs out there, and it's a little bit counterintuitive to use, but it's uh, pretty simple, and you can really do a lot with it. So go to your Start menu, boot it up here, and your screen will come up. Okay? The first thing you're going to need to do is add some... Uh, photos and videos, basically your source material. And you can click here or here. I have it here in this uh, November 2011 Black Belt Test folder since we're going to be making today a highlights video of the board breaking. So what you're going to do is just select the, uh, the raw videos you want. Another thing that's important to remember is what you do in this uh, in the Windows Movie Maker program is called non-destructive which means it is not going to affect these original files here so you don't need to worry about um, you know changing something and losing what you originally had okay, so I'm just going through and selecting files I need and it will come up here notice you can pick any kind of uh, video files and also you can pick um, still images that should probably come directly from your camera so now we've got all of our images here you see these are each clip so this is my first still image next here we have a uh, clip Ben flying sidekick next here is my breaking and then the length here is how long each clip is so the next thing we need to do is we need to go through and trim all of our clips because you're usually not going to get uh, recorded from the camera exactly what you need for your highlight video. You're usually going to have some things before or after. In the case of board breaking, you know, maybe they missed and you want to edit that out. So you're going to click on each uh, video here. Then under video tools, go to edit and we're going to use this trim tool. We're going to use this a lot. The other thing we might need over here is this video volume. Uh, sometimes you're not going to want the underlying volume to come through. Usually you do because you want to hear, you know, applause from the crowd or the crack of the board. Uh, but you don't, you don't need to. So you can set it here or fade in or um, fade out. Okay, so anyways, we're going to go here to the trim tool and it's going to bound the two edges. So you can see in this video, he runs, he hits. I like to stop it there. In fact, I like to scoot back just a little bit and stop it right there. So then you take this here. Oops, it did not let us do that. So we're going to take this and we'll bring it back this way. Okay, that was in slow motion. Get it exactly how you want it. Boom, right there. And you can trim this edge too. Maybe we'll start it right there. Then you need to come up here and save trim. And you see here, your video is going to get a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to go through and trim all of these videos. Now I'm not going to do that with you guys. So um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I've gone through and trimmed all of these clips. Uh, with martial arts clips, you're generally going to need to trim uh, most of them, and you don't want it to be too um, too boring with uh, you know a lot of waiting before and after the action, especially in slow motion. So now each of these is its own clip. You see, I've uh, trimmed out all the misses. We're good to go. Now over here, anytime you can press play to see how your video looks. And now we see here that this is a little bit um, bigger than the frame. Okay, and then we're just going through and, you know, it looks pretty good. We've got our different kind of things going. I'm going to go ahead and pause that and come back and fix this here. Now, um, you should probably be able to just set it the same size, but for some reason this uh, Windows Movie Maker is not going to let us do that. So what we can do instead is come up here to Animations and have some kind of zoom effect. These are all the different kind of pan and zoom effects we have. So I'm just going to zoom out like this. Now if we go and watch our video again, you'll see it comes uh, very nicely here. 
However, it's just not quite long enough. So again, over here, if we click on this, we can come here and add to that duration. Let's just make it eight seconds instead of seven. Okay. So now we're set. We'll go back to this home screen. This is a good time to save our file up here. File save project. Remember, what you're saving is not actually a movie. You're just saving a project file, which has uh, pointers to all of these videos, and also shows, um, you know, how you've made your cuts and the any effects you've added, and everything like that. Okay. Also, you'll notice down here everything is right except this one here is uh, flipped. So we're going to come up here and we're going to rotate that to the right. Now, of course, it's going to give us bars here, um, but that's no problem as it goes through. Okay, so now we can come up. Our video is pretty good, but the next thing we're going to want to add is some um, some titles or some captions, they call it, when the title goes over it. Okay, so here we click where we want to add, go up here to caption. Now we can enter text. I'm just going to say Ben. Okay. Now we can edit a lot of this text. We can change, you know, the transparency, how much it zooms in and out. Uh, we can change the color. We can change um, how long it stays up. And we can add these uh, preset effects over here um, by clicking any one of these. And there's a whole bunch of them flying in. Scroll up, scroll down. You can kind of see. How it's gonna look zooming in and out some cool cinematic effects I kind of like this one down here so I'm gonna add that and so here it says shows that text is on Ben okay I'm gonna leave that one alone and I'm gonna add another one for Brenna so caption here Brenna again you don't want to have too many different things inside your uh, video at once I'm going to just keep that one there. Over here it looks like Iman. So again, caption Iman. Uh, it's, it's Iman again, so we'll just leave it. Now, uh, John John is going to come up. You can choose, you can move these around if you want. If you didn't want, say, all the Imans to go together, you want to make it uh, mixed up, like, say, for a tournament, or say you wanted to show all the highlights from one match. Um, at once. So again, caption John John. Again, next to is John John. Uh, another caption. Let's get that effect again. For Kyle. I think on John John's effect, we can go ahead and make it. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we've got Lexi. So let's add a caption here. Lexi. We've got Marcus. We'll go back here. Again, caption. Marcus. Let's again get our our title. You see, there's a bunch of different things, and you can play around with it, and change the colors, and everything. Okay, here's Rachel. Let's go up, caption. Rachel. Here's Ron. Ron. The title again. And the last one, Wade. So we will caption Wade again here. And get our little burst. Okay. The next thing we could do is we could add some uh, transitions, which are under animations, in between them. Um, you have to be careful if you cut them uh, too close. You don't want to add like a dissolve, because then you're going to miss um, what was coming. So if you want to, you can click on these and add uh, transitions between them, or you can pan and zoom with the video as well. So now let's go back and let's watch it through one more time. Make sure everything is how we want it to. And the last thing we're going to do is add music. A note on the music real quick, you want to try to add things that 
aren't uh, content from other third parties. Um, if you do, not only is it uh, against the law, but also it could be taken down from Facebook or YouTube. So there's different ways you can get music. Um, you can always make it yourself as well. Um, but a lot of songs are okay. Uh, the artists have allowed their songs to be used in these kind of highlight videos. Or they've allowed it so if you put it on YouTube, they will advertise during it and take a share of the advertising revenue. So we see here on Lexi's, we forgot to um, make our title. So we'll go back here to the video tools. Lexi and actually side from home under captions and we've got a set here. Okay. Let's keep watching it. We've got Marcus, good. Rachel good. Ron it's good. His is a little bit longer since he wrote three things. Go. And this is good too. Okay, so now we're uh, ready to finish it up. We want to usually add some music. So I'm going to add music here. Uh, I want to add it from the beginning. And um, let's see, I have something here on my documents. I use the any video converter to uh, strip it out from a video and you see here this is our audio track laying on top okay? so now we want to export our movie or here what's called save movie although again we want to save our project file first you have these that automatically share it places but I think it's easier just to save the movie on your hard drive uh, then you always have it. Also, you can submit it to the KAT archive. So now there's a whole bunch of settings for um, exporting movies. Um, but for here, we can just go recommended um, for this project. When you get into After Effects and other things, there's decisions that you need to make. Uh, but for here, we should be good um, like this. So it's going to make a Windows Media video. Let's go ahead and put it on the desktop. We're going to call it... Um, black belt tests, breaking highlights. And it will take a little while depending on the speed of your computer, how many effects that you've applied, and uh, how many other things are going on in the background. Also, of course, how long the movies are, the resolution, all that. You see, this is a pretty uh, simple project, so it should be done in just a few seconds.